For this video, I'm not going to use soap for 13 years. Let's see what happens. Okay, that's a bit misleading. The truth is I haven't used soap for the past 13 years, seriously. I still wash my hands with soap, maybe a little too much right now because of the pandemic, but I haven't used soap in the shower since I was 13 years old and I'm 26 now. Max, how do I smell? I mean, it's so good to me. Except that one time I ate garlic for a week, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was questionable. Yeah, but I haven't used soap since I was 13 years old and I smell fine. I do actually ask people sometimes how I smell just to double check because I don't think I'd know if I was smelling bad from not using it, but really they usually say that I just smell human. I stopped using soap at 13 years old because I was lazy and because I didn't want to rinse it all off. But since then, the reason I've never picked it back up again is because I started doing the research and it turns out that using soap in the shower might not be that healthy for you. I'm not alone here. More and more people are quitting soap these days. And historically, soap was only really used to wash clothes. That is, until about 150 years ago, when the first massive soap companies were founded, like Unilever and Procter & Gamble, and they started selling soap hard. When it came to hand washing, this was revolutionary. Washing hands with soap is life-saving hygiene that eliminates many common diseases, makes hospitals safer, and is really a foundation of modern healthy life. But when it came to washing the rest of the body with soap, it seems that the marketing may have gotten ahead of the science. You see, by its very nature, soap has a very high pH, while your skin usually has a slightly acidic pH. Washing with soap has been shown to raise this skin pH, leading to dry skin and even increasing the likelihood of conditions like eczema. An interesting thing to note here, antiperspirants like Carpe actually have a slightly acidic pH, so they don't disrupt that skin balance the same way that soaps do. Even more importantly than the whole pH imbalance, soap strips away the healthy bacteria from your skin, a microbiome which keeps unhealthy bacteria at bay and has even been shown to fight the growth of skin tumors. Scientists are only just beginning to understand everything this microbiome does, but it increasingly seems that it's crucial to human health. So scrubbing it off with soap every day might not be the best idea. <coughs> Excuse me. This is more esoteric, but overwashing, over hygiene, has been also linked with the rise of allergies like hay fever. Fortunately, my parents kept me a little dirty when I was a kid, so I don't have too many allergies, but I hate getting sneezy. As more and more research comes in, it seems that there are real benefits to not showering with soap. And really, there aren't many downsides. I'll still use soap to wash my groin sometimes, or Carpe's exfoliating scrub when I want to get my armpits clean. But besides that, just a quick rinse of water is enough to make me feel clean and smell clean. So if you're still scrubbing with a loofah every time you get in the shower, I'd encourage you to maybe try just soaping your stinky bits. The rest of your body might be a lot better off for it. Till next time, stay dry.